Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tweety. So today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm about to do a live, like a live commentary of me playing Combat League. And I'm going to be going over a topic. Um, this is something you see like, uh, I used to see like Madden commentators do back in the day and stuff like that. And today I felt like it was necessary because I just woke up. It's like um, 5 a.m. And uh, I see the announcement for MK11 at EVO. Now, and another thing is it also has a $25,000 pop bonus. I believe Evo supplying that for every game there. Which is nice to see. Which is nice to see because, um, you know, if you followed, like, Evo and all that, you know, they, they uh, got, like, new, like, uh, new people, like, working there last year, I believe. And they got, like, a bunch of sponsors, like, PlayStation, stuff like that. And last year, despite getting, like, all those new big sponsors, they, there were no pop bonuses for any of the events, which, you know... Obviously, it's understandable that, like, the tournament, uh, the tournament organizers, they do that shit, you know, mostly full-time, right? Like, so they gotta eat, right? You know, they gotta get paid. But the them getting those huge sponsors and then the prize pools getting nothing, it was kind of like, uh, it was kind of weird. It was like, you know, damn, like, we understand the TOs, they gotta eat, but there's no crowdfunding option. And, like, little Billy, if he gets fifth, he can't even, like, you know, buy his family, like, Pizza Hut or something. You know, even though he had to beat, like, all these top players. Um, so basically, now all the games are getting a 25k pop bonus, which is, uh, which is really good. I see one thing they're doing, though, is they're, uh, they're kind of, like, retconning the way that events work. So normally at events, uh, top eight is, like, what really matters, right? Winning and then top eight. Um, but they're actually not giving a medal or paying seventh place. So they're kind of retconning how it's always worked. They're making it more about top six, which, you know, if you look at my competitive history, the two times I went to Evo, I got top six. So even with the retcon, it kind of adds to my legacy. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I'm sure the big question you guys have is, you know, will I be going to Evo now that there is a uh, pop bonus? And I'm going to be honest with you. Um, it's like five and a half months away. So things could change with me. Things could change for sure. But. As of now, I don't think I'm going to go. And there's like a few reasons for that. Now, I was going to do a live commentary of me playing Combat League, but Combat League is not finding a match. So I don't know why that is. It's just, I guess it is like 4.30 a.m., like 5 a.m. Okay, but whatever. So I don't think I'm going to go to um, Evo. And basically, like, the biggest reason for that is um, I know I stream and I do a lot of content for MK11, but as far as, like, trying to be the best and stuff like that, I'm kind of, like, jaded with it. And a big reason was because, you know, of no pop bonuses, no Pro Tour, no nothing like that. And even with the 25k at Evo, there's nothing at Combo Breaker. There's nothing at CEO. Nothing at, uh, uh, like, Summer Jam. Like, I can't think of... Because I know KIT stops, so I don't know, like, what other big events there could be something at. Um, so, like, just knowing it's just one event, that's, like, uh, I don't know, man. And if you look at the prize pool breakdown, I believe uh, Perfect Legend tweeted it. Uh, set, or fifth gets about, I think, 1.7k. So it's like, yeah, 25k, but... Or no, fifth gets that. Dice say seventh, fifth gets that. And getting getting even like top 16 at Evo, especially because you got to understand this MK scene has been hungry. So now with the 25k pot, you're going to see the Chileans and like not just the Chileans, but a whole bunch of players from South America go that have been grinding. You're going to see all those players from Rips Arena that have been, you know, doing work going. You're going to see, like, all types of stuff like that. You might even see a, a return of, like, uh, Tekken Master, stuff like that. So, since it's going to be, like, so competitive, knowing that, like, fourth place only gets, like, 2.5k or something like that, it's, like, it's hard, it's hard to really motivate me. Like, I feel like I should just keep doing what I'm doing and really focus on, like, the content end of things. Um, and I've been really enjoying it and really enjoying my growth. You know what I mean? And uh, it, it would be nice to go and like, you know, fight for like that top six, maybe even fight for a win. But another thing that's like really hard for me with MK11 is, um, you know, people often talk about like how fat I am and stuff, right? They often talk about how fat I am. And obviously when you become fat, you let yourself go. You know what I mean? And one thing that I've done with MK11 is I've kind of, like, let the meta go for me. And what I mean by that is, like, if you notice, I main Gearish, right? I still play him in most tournaments, stuff like that. 
Um, and I, I don't believe that Gyrus is uh, very good in the meta right now at all. I feel like he's actually pretty terrible in it. And the reason being is because he loses to Jackie, who is one of the most tournament relevant characters. And he loses very bad to Fujin, who is the most tournament relevant character. Especially now that people know there's money on the line, you're going to see even more Fujins than before. You know, since he's the best character in the game. So, I've kind of let the meta go for myself, you know. Uh, and that's because there wasn't really money on the line. So, it was just, in my mind, it was like, yeah, I could I could play Fujin, I could play Jackie. You know, I could play Cabal, play a character I don't want to play to, uh, to have better results. But it was like, what was it worth? You know what I mean? So now if I were to go to Evo, I would have to scramble in this like five and a half month period and all of a sudden uh, become a Fujin player or a Cabal player or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, Total Com player or something like that. And yeah, I just, I don't think the landscape, especially now, especially now that people are going to be more serious because of the money, I don't think the landscape is good for Gears. And I mean, it's it's even worse for Frost, you know, let's be real. I'm sure everyone agrees with that. I don't think, um, okay, well, that match dropped. I don't think we'll see one Gears or one Frost in the, like, semifinals of the tournament, like, after pools. I don't think we'll see one. Unless, like, maybe, like, Gur goes or something, and he's, like, re-motivated. But even then, I mean, it'd, it'd be really hard for Gur to make top eight with all those Fujins, you know? He'd probably make top 32. So, uh... You know, if I were to go, I would I would be taking it extremely serious. I would be uh, picking up Fujin, picking up Cabal, picking up uh, Jackie, I mean, like at least one of them, and grinding it out. And I have time to do that, which is why I say like, it's not for sure that I'm not going. It's just you know it's tough for me because I'm competing with these guys who, basically these guys who grinded the meta like for no reason. You know what I mean? For all these all this time, and I would I would do it. I would be like, okay, time to grind meta stuff like that. If it was stuff beyond Evo, you know what I mean? If it was like Combo Breaker's got a prize pool now, uh, CEO's got one now, Evo, and then a Pro Tour finale at the end, stuff like that. But as it stands, like, the idea of, like, grinding out, like, Fujin now for five and a half months, like, just rigorously trying to catch up, and then, like, getting fifth place, and maybe getting, like, double eliminated by, like, the best Chilean, the best EU player, because it's going to be so stacked, guys. It's going to be so stacked. Like, you can get into situations where you lose to, like, Scorpion Proxy winners, and then for ninth place, you're playing uh, Nikolas, you know what I mean? Or or Rewind or whatever. It's going to be so stacked, y'all. Because all the all the Rips Arena guys are going to go now. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Uh, they're going to be get funded to, to go. South American players, Tekken Masters. So to me, it's like, if I fought my way to fifth or fourth place, I feel like that would be, like, one of the biggest accomplishments, like, ever in NRS, just because of all the, like, international competition all the na competition it's leveled up and then to only get like 2k i feel like that's not really worth it um i feel like it would be more worth it to like just stay home and be a content guy to be honest um and i know like my niche my niche is like i'm a competitive guy you know what i mean like i compete like a lot of people they uh are fans of me because going back to like comma breaker 2019 comma breaker 2018 when i won uh, Evo when I popped off on Sonic stuff like that but it's just I'm just jaded with MK11 guys like trying to play like the meta and stuff like that what now another topic I want to get into now that you know you guys know that I'm probably not going to Evo is when is MK12 right so we got those cryptic tweets from Ed that he deleted talking about like six month announcement talking about like 2023 stuff like that so I'm I'm wondering when we get the announcement now, some people might be thinking, oh, it's going to happen at Evo. But Evo is usually, like, pretty small fry uh, compared to, like, these big game shows, like Game Awards, E3, stuff like that. Um, the, like, in terms of viewers, so they don't get as many viewers as... as uh, Evo doesn't get as many viewers as those events. And MK, obviously, it's big enough to get in at those events, right? Like, it got in at the Game Awards. It could have got in at the Game Awards again. If it wanted to, you know, so. I'm just wondering when we'll get the MK12 announcement. Because I, I feel like there's not a lot of big game shows coming up. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, It feels like the Game Awards is very big. And then it feels like everything else is like... Especially since... uh, Since uh, the... Am I allowed to say... Uh, the, the 19 virus on YouTube? I don't know. I think I'll get demonetized. 
But anyways, ever since that, it seems like the Game Awards has been the only like really big event. Like it seems to me like um like E3 has kind of gone away. And I know like all the big like console like uh representatives like pulled out of E3 this year again, I think. So it's like what is gonna be big enough to where like it's like okay, NRS might announce it this. You know what I mean? So if I if they were to ever announce an Evo, I feel like it would be this event, right? Because because um where else are they gonna announce it like right now? I guess there's like that uh summer game fest maybe, but I don't know. And my big hope is like obviously this this prize pool is coming from Evo. So it's it's almost like not even like that good of a thing to me as far as like for the future because you know it's not coming from WB, it's not coming from NRS, so they're still showing that like events are now back for two years and we're not gonna support y'all. They're they're showing that. Um, you know, so even though it is twenty five K, it's uh it's the least hopeful twenty five K to me because it's still showing like WB and NRS is like, you know, we're done. You know, it wasn't just the 19 virus that stopped us from supporting y'all. We're just done. And you might say, oh, a new game comes around. And, you know, that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping a new game comes around and there's a new pro tour, new new events, all this stuff. Um, but we'll see. And then say that does happen, say MK12 comes and WB and NRS, they're like, okay, we're back to supporting the competitive scene. Say that does happen. My question is, does it go up beyond year one? Or once we get into year two of MK12, are they all of a sudden like, yeah, you know, the peak's gone with the competitive scene, let's just be done. Um, like they did with MK11. Now you might say with MK11, you might say, oh, they didn't do that with MK11, it was just, you know, the 19, the 19 virus. But now we're sitting here, the events have been back for two years and we haven't seen any support from them. So I don't think, and I tweeted this the other day, so you might have seen it if you follow me on Twitter. I don't think NRS Esports as we knew it will happen again. I think it's over. You know what I mean? I think it's done. Uh, which, if anything, makes this Evo more important because uh, we don't know when we're going to get like a pop bonus again or something like that. You know, it might never happen. But that's also something that kind of influences me being like a content man now is I think those days where we would like show up for Pro Tours and like that staff would be there and there'd be like a pop bonus and there'd be a pro tour and like interviews and all that and like potential for big sponsors that would pay like salaries i think those days are done um i and i hope i'm wrong i hope i'm wrong and i think if anything this 25k doesn't doesn't make that look any better you know it doesn't make me look wrong because it's like the 25k it's coming from evo from what I understand, you know, which is good that they're putting back in with all those sponsors. But, you know, it's like, where's WB? Where's NRS? You know, imagine if WB and NRS were like, all right, Evo, we'll match you at Combo Breaker and CEO. Imagine if they did that. That would be so awesome. And, you know, this is the morning of this announcement. So uh, th that could happen tomorrow. That could happen tomorrow. You know, that could happen tomorrow. And that would be awesome. If WB and NRS were like, you know, what, Evo, we see you. And uh, to, to, like, help the competitive scene more, we're going to match you for Combo Breaker and CEO. That would be awesome. Um, and they've done stuff like that before. They've done stuff. Um, I remember MKX, uh, they were done supporting it. They were done. And then um, at final round, 2017, it was the last major for MKX. It wasn't supposed to be, though. It wasn't supposed to be. But a lot of us started tweeting that we're going. We're like, fuck it, we're going to go. Like, if anything, we'll just, you know, have fun, whatever. Like, me... Dragon and then Sonic got on board, stuff like that. And then NRS was like, fuck it, tweeted they're dropping, uh, I think it was 10K. And then it became the last major instead of, you know, the last major being done. So, you know, uh, there's, an, uh, there's a chance that, you know, this video could come out and all that. And then we could see NRS be like, you know what, Evo, uh, we're going to match your uh, generosity to the pots and, you know, put it, put the same amount into Combo Breaker and CEO. That would be, that would be awesome. It would revive, it would give MK11 one last big competitive year where everyone's motivated, everyone's grinding. You know, it's not a pro tour, but 25K at each event, you know, sponsors could get involved, stuff like that. Uh, it would it, it would um, boost online events as well because of people being motivated and stuff. So I feel like that that's like, that's something that could happen and that would be great, but I, I don't know. It's hard to see for me at this point. But anyways, I appreciate you guys listening to me ramble. Let me know if you want to hear me ramble more about topics. 
I was actually thinking about, uh, do you guys watch like uh, Swag Kage and stuff like that? Like the Naruto YouTuber? He'll like bring on like other people and they'll like ramble about a topic. And um, I was thinking about doing that with like Diddle and Foxy. So let me know if you'd like to see stuff like that. But anyways, remember to subscribe to the channel if uh, you want to support me if you haven't already. And uh, maybe drop a like on the video. Appreciate y'all. I'm going to head out later.